What about back flushing? Now, not every dairy needs back flushing, but some of them do, particularly the larger ones, or certainly if you have an elevated somatic cell count of maybe 200,000 or more, you should consider it. What about back flushing in combination with automatic takeoffs? Let's take the arm takeoff back flush combination first. There's the top outlet claw, right side up, teeth cups folded over, and here's what happens. The back flush solution comes in, fills the entire claw first, and therefore rinses all of the rest milk, those last few droplets that cling to the wall of the claw, it rinses all that milk out, then the claw pressurizes slightly and therefore opens these four nipples, the hoses that close these nipples off just slightly, and then we get a very nice even flow of back flush solution through all four teeth cups. Pretty good way to go. Instead, take a look at this picture. Here is a bottom outlet claw also on an arm takeoff. But look at the difference. This particular claw is quite unbalanced. You can't see it real well, but take a look. The two tit cups in the back, and even you can't see that clearly, you can imagine that those two inflation stems over those claw nipples make a very gentle radius and therefore are relatively open, while the two inflation stems over the front two nipples are pinched off much more severely. The back flush solution comes in, takes the pass of least resistance, and therefore the two rear tit cups are back flushing just wonderful, where the two front tit cups are not back flushing at all. Let's take a look at another situation. Here we have a bottom outlet claw on an arm takeoff. Now these engineers decided to solve the, pro the, the problem in a different way. Look what happens. The cow milks out, vacuum shuts off, and now they are turning the teeth cups over through a half circle, 180 degrees, all the way from the upright position to the down position. It makes quite a racket, and besides, it's unsanitary. This is not the solution either, particularly if you keep in mind that the milker now, for every cow, has to turn the unit all the way up again before he can attach it to the teats. This is what we had in mind. Top outlet claw, on arm takeoff, flushing right side up, the entire claw is pressurized, filled with solution, and as a bonus, we even clean the air bleed hole every time we back flush. It's the one and only way to go.